Financial accounting statement of cash flows. There are some ratios associated with cash. So let's take a look at them. The first one is called the cash flow yield. And what we're trying to look at is cash flow from operations as a uh, proportion of net income. So we want to know how much cash comes out of operations. And it will tell me basically the magnifier of it. Cash flow to sales is cash flow from operations over sales. We're also going to find cash flow to assets, which is cash flow from operations over average total assets. And finally, we're going to find the important one, free cash flow, which is cash flow from operations minus the dividends you had to pay minus the cash that, uh, the cash that went out because you purchased plan assets versus the cash that came in because you sold plan assets. So this is kind of looking at the net difference in your buying and selling of plant assets. And that will give you the free cash flow. So in other words, how much cash is your daily operations generating versus how much did you have to pay out to keep your business going strong, which is reinvesting in your property plant equipment and making sure your investors are happy because you pay them dividends. So how much cash do you have left over, free cash, to make a difference? We're going to do short exercise two to kind of push you through these numbers. So the, what short exercise two tells you is that your cash flow from operations are 360000 and that our net income for this particular business was 180000 So as far as looking at how much cash is yielded from your operations, notice two times as much. So twice as much cash is thrown off by your daily operations as your net income. Is that good? You bet. Now, cash flow to sales. Again, cash flow from operations is 360000 Sales in this particular instance is $1,580,000. So cash flow as a proportion of sales is 22.8%. Is that good? Well, it depends. What does it depend on? What your expectations are, what your competitors are doing, what you did last year. So I would need something to compare it to. So cash flow to sales. Next one is cash flow to assets. Again, cash flow from operations are 360000 Average total assets, remember, is beginning of the year total assets plus end of the year total assets divide by 2. So beginning of the year uh, was $1 million. So I'm going to write this little. End of the year was $1.1 million, and I'm going to divide that by 2 to give me my average total assets. So $1.1 million plus $1 million divided by 2, average total assets, divided into $360,000, cash flow from operations. Percentage-wise is 34.3%. Is that good or bad? It depends. It depends on your expectations, what you did last year, what you're hoping to do, what your competitors have done. So again, I'd need to compare it. The last one we want to look at is that free cash flow. So cash flow from operations for $360,000. The problem tells me I paid $80,000 in dividends, so I'm going to subtract that. And then I'm going to look at the net difference between the assets I uh, plan assets I purchased and the plan assets I sold as far as the cash ramifications. When we purchased plan assets, $240,000 in cash went out. When I sold plan assets, uh, $40,000 flowed in. So the difference here is $200,000, net difference in buy versus sell plan assets. So looking at this, 360000 minus 80000 minus 200000 means I have free cash flow of $80,000. Is that good or bad? 
It depends on your expectations. Those are the ratios for cash flow.